Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, blessed evening to every one of us. We pray that the peace of the Lord continue to be with us all. In Jesus' name. Amen. I hope our day went well today. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we give you thanks for your God. We give you praise for all you've done for us. We thank you for today. We thank you for our families, our friends. We thank you, Lord God, for our jobs. We thank you for everything, Lord. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for, for, for the forgiveness of sins. We thank you, Lord God, for our daily missions. We thank you, Lord. We are new praise and we glorify. Lord, as you're about to hear your word, we pray that you give us understanding tonight and may this word minister to our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Quickly, this message tonight is just to uh, encourage us, just to encourage us on the word of God and for us to focus and depend on God and on Him and Him alone. Hallelujah. That is why the theme of our topic tonight says, All on God, on God. Amen. Yes, we are in a time where everyone is confused, or almost everybody is confused. We are in a difficult time, we are in a trying time. And also, we are also in a good time, yeah, and we must appreciate God for, for this. The message strictly tonight is to encourage us on we depending on God completely, on we trusting in God, on we relying on God, because the Bible has made us to understand that there is nothing that God cannot do. And there is nothing we will ask of the Father that He will not do for us. He is our God, He is our Father, He is our everything. So it doesn't matter what the situation might be, it doesn't matter what you are passing through, it doesn't matter what uh, you are seeing around you. All matters to all, the only thing that should matter to us is about God. Because with God, all things are possible. I don't know whatever things we felt or we think that it's no longer possible, you cannot do. I don't know that thing that you are already giving up on. I don't know what your mind is telling you. But I'm come tonight to make you to understand or to make us understand that God is still on his throne and God is still saying something. That is why in the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27, it is stated, it is clear that I said, Behold, my child, my son, my daughter, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. And he says, is there anything difficult, too hard? Is there anything that is impossible for me to do? So, this was the word of our Lord to Jeremiah. In this statement, it means that evil sickness, evil disappointment, failure, rejection, intimidation, mockery, the heart of kings, queens, prince, princess, even the people that matters. It means that their heart is in the hand of God. And these are the kind of words that should keep us going. Knowing fully well that God is alive and is in charge of our lives. So all we just have to do is to believe in Him. As 2 Chronicles 20, 20 says, 
believe in the Lord that God, for they shall be, so you shall be established. Amen. So, we must believe in God. We must trust in God. We must hope in Him. So, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, no matter the kind of wind that is blowing, no matter the kind of sound that you might be hearing now, those things, they are for a short period of time. They are for a moment. The Bible says that sorrow may come at night, but joy comes in the morning. And may that joy fill our hearts every day of our lives in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. And we must hold on unto God. We must depend on Him. We must trust Him. We must call on His name. We must rely on His power and His strength. Not by our own strength. Not by our own wisdom. Not by our own understanding. But on God and on God alone. He knows our heart. He knows our mind. He knows our needs. He knows our strengths. He knows our weaknesses. So, our total submission and total surrender unto Him and looking unto Him is the ultimate solution and peace that we can enjoy as believers and as Christians and as children of God. And for us to remain on this lane, that is why we must remain on the stand of praising Him, of worshipping Him, of adoring Him, of giving Him times, times, So, every other thing aside those things, they are not, they are not worth it. God is the source of our life. It doesn't matter how it looks like and how it sounds. In the book of Genesis chapter 49 verse 25. That is why he is called the creator of the heaven and the earth. We praise his name. In thanksgiving. Also in the book of Genesis chapter 14 verse 19. The builder of everything. The builder of everything. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 4, the king of heavens. Daniel chapter 4 verse 37, God of all my kind. In the book of Jeremiah 32 verse 27, the God of all flesh. The God of all flesh. So, let us keep praising Him, let us keep honoring Him, let us keep holding on to God to renew our strength, to empower us, to guide us, to direct us, to clear our doubts, to elevate us. Without God in our lives, we are as useless as anything. So, my dear beloved brothers and sisters, I have just come just to encourage us tonight on the word of God. You are troubled, you are pain, 
you are confused, you don't know what to do, nobody is responding to you. You are rejected. Name it. But this word is for you tonight. Jeremiah 32, verse 27. Behold, no, be rest assured. Know this for yourself that I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. And there is nothing difficult, there is nothing too hard. There is nothing beyond. There is nothing I cannot do. There is no prayer I cannot hear. It doesn't matter how long it may take. It doesn't matter how long you will stay in that prayer room. It doesn't matter how long you you, you will stay in that waiting room. But be rest assured. The Bible says that there is time, the book of Ecclesiastes says, there is time for everything. We must be able to wait upon the Lord. Do your marriages, wait upon the Lord. Your business, wait upon the Lord. Your ministry, wait upon the Lord. Your children, bring them to God. And He will definitely answer us. And when He do, you will testify, you will know and you will see that of the truth, this is not the work of man, but the work of God. I pray that the Lord grant us, each and every one of us, our heart desires. We pray that the Lord see us through. We pray that the Lord come to our head. We pray that the Lord minister to our heart. We pray that we have an encounter with God. We pray that He visit us. We pray. That that stone in our heart, that thing that seems impossible, that seems difficult, that thing that has become a thorn in your flesh, that thing that people have used to mock you, I pray tonight that you have an encounter and God will turn everything around and God will change the story and God will give you testimony. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Is it sickness? That sickness is gone and is gone forever. Is it court case? That case is over and it's over forever. Is it uh, uh, you are believing God for, for a family? God is going to bless you with a family, a good family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Job opportunity, a better job and a good job is coming your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, you believe God for connection? Ah, God is give you, going to give you a good connection that you look back and say of a truth. This is a gift from God. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. You have believed God for financial blessing. Ah, God is going to open the doors of finances for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you battling with an evil spirit? Tonight that spirit is separated from you and from your family and your household forever and ever. In the mighty name of Jesus. As long as you keep believing in God. As long you are not distracted. As long you are not confused. As long you trust. Your hope is in God. You will see those things manifest. Is it document? It's going to come to you. May the peace of the Lord be with us. And may the Lord grant us peace. 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 And we will find favor in sight. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Bless. Amen. Bless forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.